Russia to withdraw troops from Ukraine border Crimea. The build-up had raised alarms in the west of renewed clashes in eastern Ukraine. Russia will begin withdrawing its military forces from the Ukrainian border starting Friday, Defense Minister Sergei Sklegel announced Thursday after the build-up had raised alarms in the west of renewed clashes. Speaking during snap readiness exercises in annexed Crimea, Chicago ordered the general staff of the armed forces, military chiefs, and the airborne troops to begin returning to their home bases from the Russian-Ukrainian border and Crimea starting the 23rd of April. I believe that the goals of the SNAP inspection have been fully achieved. Interfax quoted was saying the troops demonstrated the ability to reliably defend the country. In this regard, I have decided to complete the southern and western military district reviews. He added facing accusations of massing more than one lakh troops in the region. Russia's military said it had blocked flights and closed off navigation in parts of the Black Sea in Crimea for drills. It previously announced some 4,000 maneuvers across Russia's 11 time zones for so-called winter period control checks throughout the month of April. Chicago ordered ground forces to return to their bases in Bladder Cascades and Novice Appears as well as airborne units to Skafa Ivanava and the Krasnoda region. By the 1st of May, the minister ordered military chiefs to analyze the SNAP inspections in all levels of management and draw up a plan to eliminate shortcomings. According to Interfax, Analysts have cast out on theories that Russia was planning a covert invasion of Ukraine with its visible deployment of units, which include warships, modern armor and attack aircraft. Some observers have characterized Russia's moves as military posturing with the Kremlin signaling its escalation capabilities to the new Biden administration. While the United States seeks predictable relations with Russia and Ukraine lobbies for more Western support,